Now, what I want you to do is make a list of the five people you spend the most time with, okay? Um, we just talked about the Jim Rohn quote, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And certainly when I heard this quote, I was blown away. I actually sat down, I got a piece of paper and pen and made a list of the five people I spend the most time with. And this is what I want you to do now. I just, you know, pause the video right now, grab a piece of paper and a pen and make a list of the five people you spend the most time with. I'm going to go quiet for a bit so you can pause the video. We'll connect again when you made the list and then we'll carry on. Okay, so I hope that you took some time to pause the video and make a list of the five people you spend the most time with. All right. Now, what I want you to do is look at the list very, very carefully and think about the following two questions that I asked myself when I made my list. Number one, the people on that list, are they where you want to be? Have they able, been able to achieve everything that you want to achieve? Because the people you spend the most time with, if they haven't achieved the level of success that you want to achieve in your life, then how can they mentor you? How can they help you? And the second question I want to ask, uh, I want you to ask is, do they build you up or do they tear you down? The people on that list, do they motivate you? Do they elevate you? Do they push you? Do they drive you forward? Or do they tear you down? Because as important as it is to upgrade the five people you spend the most time with and form relationships with the high achievers of this world, it's equally as important to let go of the rotten apples that hold you back and tear you down. All right? And sometimes it's hard because they're friends or family. And you can't, you, you can't let go of them entirely. And that's okay. I don't want you to, you know, cut off all relations. But I do want you to realize that they will hold you back. So the one thing that you do have control over, the one thing you can do is limit your exposure to them. Is limit the time that you spend with them.